Hey everybody, Chris Bodra here, manager of the Side Door Jazz Club at Old Lime Inn. Trying something a little bit different, something I like to call the manager's corner, in which I talk about upcoming performances at the club, and a little bit about what you can expect with each performance. So here's what's coming up the Side Door Jazz Club at Old Lime Inn. On Friday, January 13th, we return from a short break after our magnificent New Year's Eve performance by Lucy Yegiazarian and her quintet. And we're bringing Claudio Ragazzi and friends. Mr. Ragazzi is a Grammy and Emmy-nominated and winning composer and musician, current faculty member at the Berklee College of Music, along with many of his bandmates. And he brings with him a quartet consisting of all-stars Alain Malay on piano, Oscar Stagnaro on bass, and Mark Walker on drums. Claudio not only attended the Berklee College of Music and he graduated magna cum laude. He's a winner of the prestigious Duke Ellington Masters Award and the Boston Music Awards. And he went on to compose music for feature films, documentaries, and television commercials. A native of Buenos Aires, Argentina, Claudio uh, began playing at a very early age with some of Argentina's most influential musicians. He would later go on to play with such greats as Yo-Yo Ma, Regina Carter, Gary Burton, Randy Brecker, Danilo Perez, to name a few. In addition to having great chops as a straight-ahead player, you'll also hear a lot of world influence, an influence that only a great composer like Claudio can bring to the bandstand. So check this one out, Friday, January 13th. Then on Saturday, January 14th, we're thrilled to welcome Mr. Steve Touré and his sextet to the Side Door Jazz Club. Steve is one of those torchbearers of the music. He has played in bands of such luminaries and heavyweights and historical figures, including Art Blakey, Rasan Roland Kirk, Woody Shaw, and even Ray Charles. And you may recognize Steve from holding the trombone chair in the Saturday Night Live band of every Saturday night on NBC. Steve brings with him an all-star band, including Connecticut native Josh Evans on the trumpet, tenor saxophonist James Carter, pianist Keith Brown, whom you may recognize from being a sideman, in-demand sideman, in many, many groups that have come through the side door. Corcoran Holt, whom you may recognize from playing in Kenny Garrett's band at our Back in the Swing celebration part two in 2022. And Steve's son, Orion Ture, is holding down the drum chair, so it's going to be a fantastic family affair at the side door on Saturday, January 14th. On Friday, January 20th, we bring back one of our regular rotations to the club. Mr. Jeremy Pelt is bringing his quintet. Uh, Jeremy not only can be known as a trumpeter, producer, and educator, but he's recently notched his belt, very successfully, I might add, as an author, releasing his title, Grio, in which he examines the lives of jazz's great storytellers. Mr. Pelt's quintet consists of himself on trumpet, Jalen Baker on the vibraphone, Victor Gould on the piano, Leeton McKinley Harrell on bass, and Alan Medberg on drums. And on Saturday, January 21st, we have Mr. Jerry Briganzi bringing his quintet to the side door. Jerry has been an integral part of the Boston jazz scene for many, many decades. Has shared the bandstand with such luminaries as Dave Brubeck, Miles Davis, and Joey Calderazzo. Mr. Briganzi's quintet includes himself on tenor saxophone, Phil Grenadier on the trumpet, Cheryl Bailey on guitar, Harvey S. on bass, and Luther Gray on the drums. Then we have an exciting weekend, a full weekend of Mr. Jimmy Green and his quartet. Jimmy Green is a Connecticut native and beloved educator coming out of the Hart School, Jack and the Clean Institute. Jimmy has had a robust career performing since his early 20s in the bands of such luminaries as Horace Silver, Harry Connick Jr., and most recently, the great Ron Carter. Jimmy's band consists of himself on the saxophones, Desron Douglas on bass, Keith Brown on piano, and Mr. Jonathan Barber on the drums. You'll recognize a lot of these names as Connecticut natives, and this is going to be an exciting weekend that you're not going to want to miss. 